Hey guys, welcome back to part two of real estate investing spreadsheets for beginners. In the last video, I talked about how spreadsheets will help you make sure that you have your numbers perfect every single time, how you can compare different properties, different opportunities, and to make sure you never forget any numbers whatsoever because any numbers you forget will cause your property to seem like it's performing better than it really is and you might actually have a situation where you think your property is performing you think you're going to make a lot of profit and then it turns out you don't so in part one i talked about why you needed to know how to use spreadsheets in part two which is this video i'm going to show you how to actually create the spreadsheets If you are brand new to this channel, go back to part one, check out that video. And also, if you're brand new, subscribe and like the channel because I release new videos every single Monday and Wednesday here at The Hone Zone where we help you multiply the assets you own. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, here we have our spreadsheet that we worked on in part one. I'm going to break it down exactly how I created the spreadsheet and I'm going to go through formulas and I'm also going to show you a couple formulas that are not included on here but are super super helpful in real estate investing. Let's begin. The first thing I want to start with is the ARV, $450,000. I simply typed that, right? I sim I typed actually ARV closing rehab finance carry profit. So all of these numbers here, I typed every single one of them. The purchase price was a formula. Okay, so you see here it's 233212. How did I come up with that? Very simple. I put in this formula, I pressed equals, right? And then I clicked here. So it is the ARV. And then I subtract this minus this minus this minus this minus this. And then when you press equals, 233212. That's how I do it. Now, the other way I've could have done it, and I'll and I'll do it over here. Uh, actually, that's a terrible spot because my big head is blocking the way. I'll do it up here. Equals 450 minus the sum. Here's another way of doing it, right? I did sum and then I did the parenthesis. And then what I'm going to do is highlight all of the things that I want to add up. So now if you're reading it, what it's saying is the ARV minus the sum of the closing, rehab, finance, carry, and profit. So when you add up those things, I should get... The same exact number, there it is, 233212. All right, let's keep on going. The investment here is $25,000. $25,000 was hard coded, that's what I wrote in there. How did I come up with that 300%? Well, all I did was I did the profit, which is the return divided by the investment. So, return on investment, ROI. The return is the profit, the investment is the $25,000, 75 divided by 25. You can see the formula, it says that project A profit, and then divided by project A investment. Um, it's the little button, it's the slash under the question mark, right? So I'll do it right here. So here I'll press equal sign, and then I go to the profit, and then divide by this number here, enter, Voila, I got three. Okay, I'm glad I got three and not 300 because then I get to show you guys formats. So I click the format screen. Maybe uh, maybe it'll help if I move me out of the way. I click the format screen and then I go over and I go here to sell. Now, I am using Microsoft, or not Microsoft, sorry, Windows or Macintosh numbers you can do this in <clears throat> you can do this in excel you can do this in google drive numbers they all work right they all work it's just a matter of knowing all of the different ones now i want that number to be a percentage so i'm going to click here percentage right and now if i scroll over you will see that it says 300 percent now because that three is actually 300 percent Make sure that you have the format correct so that the number comes out the way you want. It, as an example, this 233-212, I could also hit currency, and then I can have it have decimal places. Sometimes people like the cents. I can hit the thousand separator so they come up or they don't, right? So you can choose all of those kind of things. Uh, when it comes to big numbers like that, I just take away the decimals. I put the thousand separator in there. It, it just makes it nicer to look at. All right, so that's a basic example of how to calculate that. Now, 
Here's a really cool one that I think a lot of people will enjoy is let's let's look at project B. This is an ARV of $500,000. And let's say we are flipping this property to a homeowner and the homeowner, they wanna know how much uh, their, their monthly payments are gonna be, right? The homeowner wants to know what their monthly payments are gonna be. So I can help them by calculating it. Here, I'll write something like 30 years, right? So I'll do equal sign, 30 years is 30 years times 12 months. That's 360 months. And then let's say the interest rate today is 3.125, okay? So 3.125, that's the interest rate. Now, if the homeowner is gonna put a 20% down payment, I'm gonna do equal sign here, $500,000 times 0.8, that's $400,000. What that means is that they're gonna be getting a loan for $400,000 because they're putting 20% down. What's 20% of $500,000? $100,000. So the loan amount that I'm going to have here is going to be $400,000, right? 400,000 bucks. Let me move myself over a little bit more. And then here is the interest rate, interest rate. And then there, there are the months, actually, months. All right. So now I want to know what my monthly payment is for this loan, the buyer, the buyer wants to know. So I'm gonna put in here equal sign, PMT, parenthesis, and then I'm gonna click the interest rate, divide that by 12, comma, click the months, comma, and I'm gonna do negative $400,000, close parenthesis. The reason I put negative $400,000 is because if I left it as 400,000, my payment's gonna come out as a negative number and I wanna see it as a positive number. So I click enter and that is completely wrong. Okay, so that <laughs> the monthly payment should not be $104,000. Where I think I went wrong is right here. So this interest rate, though it says 3.125, what went wrong was it's actually supposed to be 0.003125. And then if I hit enter, there you go. My monthly mortgage payment is $1,164. That is what they call the principal and interest payments every single month. That does not include the taxes and the insurance. So that's called the PITI. This is just PI, principal and interest. They're gonna be paying $1,164.15 every single month for this loan. I like when things get messed up such as what we just saw here. Now, remember what I did earlier where I changed that three into percentage? Watch what happens when I change the format of this 0 0.003125. When I go to the format and I change it to percentage, there it is. Oh, that's still, I don't know why it looks like that. 0 0.03 point, hold on, hold on. Is that right? It should be, it should be. Man, this is driving me nuts. 3.125. If I click enter, I'm sorry. I totally messed that up. There you go. It's good to it's good to check. It's good to check. So I changed it to percentage. I added too many decimal points. Now, here's the real one. 1713. Now, let me double check, right? I have a I have a calculator, the 10BII calculator right here, and I'm going to put in 360 months. I'm gonna put in a rate of 3.125, and then I'm gonna put in $400,000, and voila, I checked it, and it came out to 1,713.50. That's the right answer, but you can also calculate it on Excel, just make sure that you do it correctly. It's almost as if I messed up on purpose so that you guys could learn in case you guys make mistakes. Now you guys get to see how the mistakes are fixed. Did I plan that or not? We'll never know. We'll never know. Either way, this is a great tool for you guys to figure out what the monthly mortgage payment is going to be for your buyer or if you are doing a cash out refinance and you want to know what your monthly payment's going to be 
right? If you want to know what your monthly payment is going to be when you get that loan yourself, you can do that. Now, a, a commercial refinance for an investment property, it usually won't be 360 months. It might be something like 300 months, right? 300 months, and look at that, the payment went up 200 bucks. And the interest rate probably won't be a 3.125, it might be something like a 4.5, right? Look at that, it went up another $300 or whatever, right? So now you get to see how your monthly payment changes based on the interest rates and the months. And all you gotta do is change that number. You don't have to go calculating everything all over again. All you gotta do is input new numbers. And let's say you got a smaller loan. You're like, well, that payment's too large. Let me get a smaller loan. Let me see how that changes my payment amount. See? So now it's under $2,000 by going from a $400,000 loan to a $350,000 loan. Super simple. That is how you calculate all of the things in the spreadsheet that will be useful for your real estate investing. And hopefully you've learned a lot from this video. Hopefully you learn how to create these spreadsheets. Now that you know how to make them, you can use these spreadsheets over and over and you can create them on the fly. Anytime you get a real estate investing deal, you can go, oh, let me check it out real quick. If you get really, really good at this, you can do it on the fly. You can do it while somebody's telling you the deal. And instantly you can know whether or not this is a good deal or not. As real estate investor investors, our job is to simply put out more offers and make a deal with somebody. That's that's it. Just just put out the offers. If they can't come to your number, that's fine. Just move on. But you gotta you gotta be able to say yes or no when they tell you something, and you wanna be able to say yes or no based on something. So you gotta know how to do your numbers really quick. And here with the spreadsheet, every single cell phone has a spreadsheet app. You can you can use these spreadsheets in that cell phone app. Just plug it in, boom, you're done. It's, it's, it's a wonderful tool once you learn how to use it. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned a lot. If you wanna learn more about how to use spreadsheets and how to create spreadsheets for your real estate investing business, check out honezone.com. I have a spreadsheet course called Great in the Spreadsheets. Um, it's a little fun, pun on words, whatever, play on words. Uh, but that, that course is going to include spreadsheets for you to use. Some of them are really advanced and break down a lot of different things. You're going to want to check that out. Uh, again, go to honezone.com and check out that course. If you guys use spreadsheets, how do you use them? And, it, and if not, what has kept you from using spreadsheets? I love to hear from you guys. Put in the comments below whether you're using spreadsheets or not. And if not, why not? All right, guys. This is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please share it with a friend. I'm sure they'd love to learn how to use spreadsheets for their real estate investing as well. All right, and until then, I will see you in the next video. Peace.